Okay, we're going to uh, try to get this set up for you. I don't know how it's going to look. We'll show you what we do. First thing you want to do is go into VORPX menu. Hit Configure VORPX. Whoops, I bet i got to stop this. Hang on. Looks like it's working, so... No. Let me run this down till we get it right. That should be working now. Okay, we're good. We're going to close this out. Let's go back. Let's go configure VORPX. Open your VORPX app up. Go to Cloud Profiles right here. Cloud Profiles. Type in Tomb Raider. Wait till it comes up. This profile right here. Tomb Raider 2013 VORP X is the one you want. You want to import the profile. That's all you have to do is import it. Once you do that, hit apply and close. And it's good to go. Okay, now you have the right port profile in here. Okay, start your Tomb Raider game. However you start it. You'll just want to use these settings. I run all my games in Oculus Rift. I run everything in 2160 by 1200 because I get the best, uh, best, uh, yeah, what do I get the best? I get the best resolution in my, uh, in my HMD. You want to turn VSync can be off. You can leave it on if you want to. I just don't find it useful. I use motion blur, screen effects, ultimate quality. Hit OK. Let's go back and uh, go back to configure VORPX because I'll show you what I do here. And all we're going to do here is these settings. I have every almost everything. You do not need VORPX control as an admin. I never change any in-game settings. I always set mine up in-game. I don't let VORPX change them by itself. I prefer not to. You can. It's up to you. In the start page, I see no reason to use it. Once you enable it that way, you want to hit apply and close. Once you hit apply and close, then we can just go ahead and uh, start uh, Tomb Raider. Let it load. Hopefully it will show the screen. It's not going to show it because I don't have it in window mode, of course. Up. For that reason, no, it's not going to, obviously, not going to pick it up. Yes, it did. I take that back. It's on there, so hopefully you can see. That we are in window mode. You should be on the screen here. The screen here. You can load a new game. I'm going to run it on here. So if you do it, get your last save, whatever you want to do. The game should load in. And I will double check the VORPX menu here once we get in the game. Game is loading in VORPX. Okay, we're going to hit the delete key right now. We bring up our Vor Vorp X menu, main menu, first play. You want to hook, I, I play it in full VR mode. Second one is 3D reconstruction. You have Z normal, you have Z adaptive, and you're right. We do not have 3D G available, so use Z normal. You can't see mine, but right now I'm in a full VD, uh, full Z normal, three, uh, 3D strength I have set at one, depth weighing I have at 0.5, focal distance I have set 0.003, and head tracking sensitivity I have at one. So maybe this will help you out getting it set up. Then just hit OK and save. And we should be good to go. And uh, as you can see, I have 360 degree head tracking. 
in uh, ultra high quality or the highest it has so hopefully this will help you uh, middle mouse button mouse button mouse mouse button allows you to see the end so we're going to quit to uh, yeah what are we gonna do exit to main main menu here a little tongue tied there <clears throat> that helps you out any just give me a shout back and we'll upload this here in a minute uh.